So hello again, a new day, a new project. Uh, today is something interesting, you know. This is a kind of, let me call it, uh, diverter limiter. And uh, what is doing this kind of circuit? Well, it's keeping the solar production inside the house. So uh, it's reacting in the moment when it feels that the, let's call it the stupid <laughs> inverter, it's sending power to the grid. Extra power generated by the inverter, it's not going to the grid, it's diverted to an extra load. That can be a heater, that can be a boiler, anything. This circuit is working uh, by uh, analyzing the phases, you know, the, the main phase and also the phase generated by the inverter. There will be a kind of uh, difference in between the phases and when that uh, Cure the circuit, it's uh, connecting the extra load, keep the power inside the house. You can see I already did that experimentally on a board and it's using just a few resistors and, uh, and two operational circuits, in my case LM58 and uh, I didn't really have that in the house and uh, finally, so I got to use to 45650 from GRC. This circuit will work with almost any operational uh, circuit. I have a 100 amp sensor and this will be connected before anything else. It will be connected to the to the main entrance, power entrance in the house. You can also use a sensor for uh, Arduino SCT01330 like this there are a lot of different power sensors and this is just a, a coil connected to the mains and this will produce because of the electromagnetism this will produce a certain voltage that voltage will be uh, eventually processed by the circuit let's talk a little bit about the schematic you see here we have a very classic uh, power supply and that's delivering a differential plus minus 12 volts that's necessary for the IC or this LM358 uh, to be powered. We have the first uh, IC LM358 and, uh, and we got, let's call it uh, number one here, and number two over there. So let's start with number one. We have a signal to the non-inverting, to the plus input uh, of the IC. And this one is coming straight from the transformer. So we're gonna have a kind of signal like this. That's a sinusoidal signal. This will be processed by, uh, by the IC. And finally, we have an almost square signal in the output. Okay, let's go to number two. Here on the B entrance, we are going to the inverting input of the IC, the minus in. And here, we're gonna have the signal from the sensor. And it also is a kind of sinusoidal, and it is a sinusoidal, in fact. And we're gonna have the same uh, the same output but inverted with a different phase it's 180 degrees inverting phase both of these signals are applied to this XNOR logic gate and uh, eventually this open a transistor here this is a very classic NPN transistor and because of the signals A and B, we're gonna have a very simple situation here. In this point C, that's the test point here, we're gonna have either a minus voltage, and that means import, so the current is going from the mains to, to the house, and that's include the power 
delivered by the inverter, of course, because here at the end of the things, we have the house and all the consumption, or we have a export. So that means the inverter, it's pushing current toward the grid. And that will be a plus voltage here in point C. Here we have another IC LM358 or any operational, in fact, it's working. And this is operating two LEDs, a red one for export and the green one for import power. So usually we should have the green one lighting. And uh, the other side, the other side over here, we have the signal applied to the inverting input and we have a trimmer over here to adjust the limit of the output and uh, also the limit of the power supplied to balance the inverter production, I may say. And in the output, there are a lot of situation here. The output can be used to trigger a relay or to trigger a high voltage, high power transistor. I'm going to show you this a little bit later. Of course, here in the input, I forgot to tell you the non-inverting and the inverting input are connected through one mega ohm resistor and that keeps a kind of balance in between the inputs. The whole job is done by this uh, XNOR logic gate and this makes the compare between the phases and between the outputs of this uh, IC over here. Okay, so now let's talk about the output here. So the output it's transferred through one kilo resistor to this transistor here. It's a IGBT, at least 100 and, uh, 1,200 volts. This one at 330 watts and uh, FGA 25 and 120. And after we have a bridge, a power bridge, 500 volts, and uh, it's connecting the extra load over here. The most important thing is to understand the to understand the schematic and to understand how the things are working. Because let's say, so we have a inverter and the panels, of course, and this inverter, it's, let me call it stupid, you know, so it's delivering 1000 watts. The house is consuming only 500 watts. So we have, in this case, we have like going to the grid over here. All we have to do now is uh, it's to add a 500 watts load over here and to balance the power exported to the grid. This is the main idea of this kind of circuit. It's not a limiter because it's not, it's not working, uh, make a power adjustment to the input of the inverter over here this uh, electronics is just connecting an extra load to keep everything in balance and uh, that extra load can be used to let's say to a boiler you know for having hot water or it can use to have a fan or anything else so the point is we don't want to let any power going to the grid from the inverter. That's the idea of the thing. And all this can be adjusted by, by this uh, 10 kilo trimmer. The most easy way to, to find these uh, power levels is to have one of those uh, power meter, mechanical power meter and uh, eventually you can adjust the trimmer 
to make the, the power meter wheel going backwards or stop in zero. When it's stopping on zero, then we have the perfect balance. Um, but the, here are a lot of factors about this. You have to, to have a very clear image about your PV production and uh, solar panels power and also about how much your house is taking in the daytime or in the nighttime if you are working with batteries or something like this. So here is a very tricky part about uh, balancing the, the power needs with the consumption and with the extra load. I really hope you got the idea, you understand the, the, the principle of this uh, schematic and how it's working. And uh, I'm going to make a video uh, with a practical, let's call it own field demonstration about this. You can easily test this one here with an LED like this over here and this goes to minus. And this, this uh, will light up in the moment when we have uh, the export going to the grid. As soon as I'm going to have the, the right setup, I'm going to shoot some videos about uh, how these things are working. Thank you for now. Push like and subscribe. And I hope this is useful for you. In the meantime, be safe. Bye bye.